And it's time to put our scientific glasses on. Because we are doing some science experiments today. To do a chemical reaction and make this balloon blow. You will need an empty bottle, some vinegar, reused malt vinegar, and some baking soda, so as well as a balloon. Into the balloon. Pour four to five spoons of baking soda into the balloon until it fills up. Pour vinegar in the bottle. After pouring vinegar, you should put the balloon around the mouth of the bottle, like so. Then tip the balloon so that all of the baking soda can come and react with the vinegar. The mixture rises and the balloon inflates. The balloon is blowing now. The balloon is sucking up all of the melted soda when the vinegar is gone. But it just blows out the melted soda. Next we have a variation of the previous experiment. Soda with vinegar. After about three spoons of baking soda, you can add vinegar. It makes an eruption. Last but not least, we'll be making a really cool density tower. Mm. Honey is the most dense liquid out of them all, so it will stay right at the bottom. Then add some dish soap. It won't mix with the honey because it's lighter than the honey. Then there is water which we have put food colouring in to make it more distinguishable from the other liquids. Next, we pour the oil, which forms a layer above the water. And last but not least, we have nail polish remover, which is almost invisible because it forms a really thin layer above the oil. After adding all the liquids or any additional ones of your choice, you can also experiment with the density of many different objects. As you can see, the marble sunk to the bottom, and the sequins drifted down to above the honey. We also added baking soda, and it had a very interesting texture.
We hope you enjoyed these three experiments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you.